My name is Kat Simmons. My student number is 101209214. All right, hello. Welcome to uh, some more Unity stuff. So here I have my scene from last week. I'm just gonna get rid of all this. Okay, that's good, that's all we need. So the first thing I'm gonna do is make some um, tile apps, which we're then gonna populate by painting some tiles in there. So I'm just gonna go in here, I'm gonna duplicate this guy, I'm gonna call this one background, and this one, oh, this one foreground. Um, and then I'm going to change their sorting layers um, to foreground and background. I found the sorting layers by going up here and then you can just add them and delete them from here. I did have one for props as well, but we're not going to use that. Um, so back into here. So I've got my tile maps, they haven't got any tiles in them. What do I do with that? What I need to do is create a tile palette, which I'll do by going to window, uh, 2D, yeah, tile palette. Um, and here's one I made earlier, uh, which I would do by, uh, I think just up here I'll say, create new palette, yes. Um, and then dragging in uh, my already uh, split tiles, which I would do by going to sprite editor, slice, um, and then choosing a way to slice it. So I've dragged those in there, I have put my tiles in this huge tiles folder to make it get really upsetting for everyone else who wants to use this. And now I'm just going to start painting. So what I'm doing here for this painty business is switching between background and foreground. I'm later going to use these for my collision things. So what I've done is just put a bunch of snow on the background so that it'll never, like, you'll never see just nothing on the scene. And then I'm putting some foreground stuff in the foreground. Back to the fast forward. Oh, as you hopefully saw during my fast forward period, it's very easy to, uh, to redo things as I made plenty of little happy accidents during that. And add some collision. Uh, I don't want any collision on my background, so we'll just ignore that. And on my foreground, I'm going to add a 2D tile map collider, a tile map collider 2D. And I'm going to add a composite collider 2D. And then on my tile map collider, I'm going to hit used by composite. Um, and I th oh, and then I just want to check that I have a box collider on this guy and I don't need this uh, this extra script at the moment so we're just going to get rid of that one um, and I'm just going to hit save and see where we are do we have some collision I'm expecting to not collide with the background but to collide oh to static so that'll mean it won't move around yeet itself off the screen there we go Obviously my raccoon is kind of massive at the moment um, and can't really get through these poles, uh, but that's fine. We can see that the collider is working. Uh, so the next thing I'm going to do is set up some lights. Now this does involve a little bit of setup um, with changing our render pipeline. <laughs> tip use the search bar so as you can see everything is terrifying at the moment just add a 2d um, global light uh, so that there you go um, so that the fear can go away my target sorting layer is default and I need to change it to all so now when I change this to a prettier color there we go so we've got a nice pink cloud world the best place in the world to live Then the last thing I'm going to do, I think, is um, just do some stuff with shadows. Uh, so I'll turn this guy back on. Uh, 
He doesn't have a collider at the moment. Oh, he does. That's fine. Okay, cool. I'm just going to make him static. He's just going to be a prop. And then I'm going to add a shadow caster 2D component to him. Shadow. So there you are. I'm able to move through my scene. I've got some shadows casting from this one guy. Uh, something I am going to do is just change this box collider. There we go. All right, thank you so much for watching this video and please have an okay day.